Hey, what's up guys? My name is John and I'm an emergency medicine physician associate. Physiciate. Physician Associate. That's right. It's official. On May 24th, 2021, the AAPA passed the resolution to change the professional title of PA to Physician Associate from Physician Assistant. Associate to the Physician. Back in December of 2020, I released a video on the PA name change. This was after the AAPA spent millions of dollars investigating a name change. And here were my thoughts back then. 90% in the camp of we should just keep our name the same. And then 10% in the camp of if we're going to change our name, we should change it to physician associate. Because in the United Kingdom, they call their PAs physician associates. Yale calls their PAs physician associates. So the term is already kind of out there. Primarily, it would be because we get to keep our acronym, which is PA. We kind of avoid that huge jump, right? But... People don't like that term. Physicians don't like that term. I'm not really a fan of, I'm not like ultimately a huge fan of that term, but if we were to change and I saw that that was one of the options that they were considering, I would prefer to change to that. And I titled my video with the bye bye PAC, you know, to really add that shock value. But I guess we are keeping the PAC abbreviation after all. So what are my thoughts on this? A bunch of people have been messaging me, asking me to make a video on this. I think that the AAPA did the right thing because by changing the name, you are now appeasing the camp of people who definitely wanted a name change. They no longer like the physician assistant title. And then on the other end of the spectrum, physician associate is such a minor change that for all the people who didn't really care for name change, we're all kind of just like, okay. And once again, out of all of the names that they were proposing, I think physician associate was the lesser of all evils. I mean, we were really on the verge of calling ourselves a joint in the hand. Hopefully with this name change, we are no longer inundated with medical assistant job offers when you type in physician assistant into a job search. They're completely different. And if you guys want to see the reasoning behind the name change, you could check out the first video. So now that this name change has taken place, you know, May 24th, 2021, do I have to go and change my resume, my CV, my LinkedIn, my white coat, and all of these other things? Not just yet. It's going to take months, if not years, to roll out this new name change nationally. And I'm sure that the AAPA will be doing a lot in terms of spending to broadcast that the name change is official. Even from the AAPA, they state, it is inappropriate for PAs to hold themselves out as physician associates at this time till legislative and regulatory changes are made to incorporate the new title. Don't change anything just yet. Wait until your state makes it official. Wait until um, your employer says that you could start using the physician associate title. So there, I commented. I'm doing a lot of really good wealth and finance related videos. For instance, I talk about how I'm saving $20,000 this year, in addition to a really good overview about stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs. These are good videos, but you guys aren't watching them, so YouTube thinks that they're bad videos. So please go check those videos out. As always, leave a like. It really helps the YouTube algorithm out so much. Let me know what you guys think about the name change in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, stay safe out there. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.